Cook in the sale of already a board. Cook threw me a life boy and pulled me aboard and mother held on to some bananas and made it to the life boat. The cook, the cook was a disgusting man. He ate a rat. He had food enough for weeks, but he found the rat in the first few days and he killed it, dried it in the sun and ate it. He was such a brute, that man. But he was resourceful. It was his idea to build the raft to catch fish. We would have died in those first few days without him. The sailor was the same man who brought rice and gravy, the Buddhist. We didn't understand much of what he said, only that he was suffering. He'd broken his leg horribly in the fall. We tried to set it best we could, but the leg became infected. And the cook said that we had to do something or he'd die. The cook said he'd do it, but mother and I had to hold the man down. And I believed him. We needed to do it. So. I kept saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he just kept looking at me. His eyes were so... I never understand the point of that man's suffering. I can still hear him. The happy Buddhist. You only ate rice and gravy. We didn't save him, of course. He died. The morning after the cook caught his first Dorado and I didn't understand what he had done at first. But mother did and I had never seen mother so angry. Stop whining and be happy, he said. We need more food or we'll die. That was the whole point. What was the whole point, mother asked? You let that poor boy die in order to get bait, you monster. The cook got furious. He started towards her with his fist raised. And mother slapped him hard right across the face. I was stunned. I thought he was going to kill her right then. But he didn't. The cook didn't stop at bait either, no. The sailor... He went the same way the rat went. The cook was a resourceful man. It was a week later that he, because of me, because I couldn't hold on.